In this lecture, we are going to look at some basic concepts and optimum of a functional. The basic concepts include function and a functional, incremental function and an incremental functional, derivative of functions, and variations of a functional. We are also going to look at the definitions of a optimum of a function and a functional. A function describes the relationship between two variables. Here we have one example. The function x of time t is equal to f t. One example of that is x of t is equal to 2 t squared plus 1. A functional describes a relationship between a quantity g a and a function f x. It can be written as the functional g a is equal to j of f x. Here we have one example. If x t is a function, and uh, the functional j of x t can be the integration from 0 to 1, x of t, dt. The increment of a function is defined as uh, the difference between the function evaluated at a time t plus delta t and the function evaluated at a time t. If we extend the same definition of an increment of a function to the increment of a functional, since a functional is a function of a, another function x t, here the definition of the functional delta j is defined as j evaluated at a function of x of t plus delta x t minus j of x t. Here, delta x t is called a variation of the function x t. Let's look at two examples. The first example, find the increment of the function f t that is equal to 2t squared plus 1. According to the definition of the increment, the increment delta f of t is defined as a f evaluated at t plus delta t minus f of t. We submit t plus delta t into this formula that will give us 2t plus delta t plus 1 minus f of t. f of t is 2t squared plus 1. Then it will give us 4t delta t plus 2 delta t squared. Second example, find the increment of j. From the definition, the increment of a functional j is defined as uh, j of a function x of t plus the variation of x delta x t minus j of a function of x t. It becomes the integration from t0 to tf 2 times x plus delta x squared plus 1 dt minus j of f x t that is equal to the integration of a, uh, so many terms are canceled, 2x squared is canceled with this 2x squared, and a 1 is canceled with the other one. What we have left in the bracket, that is a uh, 2 delta x squared plus 4x delta x. So this is how we find the increment of functional. Next, the differential and a variation. A differential of a function can be defined from the definition of an increment. When delta t becomes zero and the limit of a delta f t over delta t, as delta t goes towards zero, this is defined as a the differential of a function df over dt. And this definition can also be defined from the Taylor theory equation of a delta ft. The Taylor theory equation of a delta ft assume that we expand this function at a t. So we have a ft which is cancelled with this negative ft plus the second term which is df dt evaluated at this time value t times delta t plus 
the second order term 1 over 2 factorial times second derivative of f with respect to time t times delta t square plus some higher order terms. And the df dt is uh, defined as uh, the first differential of a function. This coefficient here is defined as uh, the second derivative of the function. Variation of a the functional follows a similar concept. If we apply Taylor theory expansion to the increment of a, a functional, that will give us the first term will be j of x t, which is cancelled with a j of x t, and second term is uh, the partial j over partial x times delta x plus one over two factorial of a. Uh, second order partial derivative of a j with respect to x times delta x square plus the high order terms and here partial j partial x is a first uh, variation and uh, the second order derivative term is a second variation the first variation is called a delta j second order term is delta j square is called a second variation. So look at this example. Find the variation of the functional. And from the previous definition here, we know the first variation, delta j, is equal to partial j over partial x. And we just need to take a partial derivative of this function with respect to x, which is the same as uh, take a partial derivative uh, of uh, this function with respect to x. That will give us this is 4 times x plus 3 dt. So this is the first variation. The second variation that is equal to 1 over 2 factorial times the second partial derivative of, of j with respect to x. So since this function was from delta j, so we just need to take a partial derivative of this with respect to x. So that give us 4 so this is how we find the first and the second variations. Next, a look at the definition of an optimum of function. A mathematical description of a, this has been shown here. A function f t is said to have a relative optimum at the point t star if there is a positive parameter eta such that for all points t in a domain d that is satisfied this, the increment of f t has the same sign, no matter it's a positive or negative. A simplified narrative of uh, this definition is within a small domain around t star, if the increment of uh, f t all have the same sign, and we say at the point of t star, the function has an optimum. And we assume ft is equal to a t squared plus b t plus c. To find the time t such that ft has an optimum, what we did is to take a derivative of f with respect to t and let it to zero. So this will provide an optimal t. Let's call it a t star. t star is the, the solution to this algebraic equation. According to the definition, at this optimum point, at this point, if we find the increment of a fx, the increment over here, and the increment over here, that is always a positive. So we know that at a t star, it has a minimum. And at this point, if we look for the increment, the increment is always negative. So we know that as long as they have the same sign, no matter is a positive or a negative, and it will have an optimum. Come back to this second order function. How do we know if a ft has a maximum or minimum? What we did before was to check the second derivative of a f with respect to time t. And if uh, the second order derivative is greater than zero, means the second derivative of this function with respect to means a is uh, greater than zero, it's uh, corresponding to this plot. 
and we know that it has a, a minimum. Otherwise, if the second derivative of uh, f with respect to t is less than zero, we will be able to find a maximum, which is uh, this case. We can extend the definition of the optimum of a function to functional. And here's the definition. A function j is said to have a relative optimum at x star if there is a, a positive parameter eta such that within this small domain d, the increment of j has the same sign, which is pretty straightforward to understand. So next is a very important theorem for this course. It summarizes how to find an optimum of a function of j. For x star to be a candidate for an optimum, the first variation of j must be zero on x star for all admissible value of a delta x. This is a necessary condition. Necessary condition means for it to be an optimum, it has to satisfy this relationship. And, and a sufficient condition for a minimum, if we want to make sure that this point is a minimum point, we need to check the second variation the second variation, delta j, the second variation of function j is greater than zero. If uh, the second variation of the function j is less than zero, we'll see a maximum. Following the theorem of calculus of variation, and if we define uh, the functional in a special form of this form from the integration of t0 to tf, the function v dt, for this functional, and we can apply the previous theorem. The necessary condition for x star to be an optimum can be found by calculating the first variation of j and set it to zero. That it can lead to this Euler equation. So the detailed derivation can be found from the textbook. And for this point to be a minimum, we need to check the second variation of j. The second variation of j is greater than zero that will guarantee a minimum. For this special case, we can find that a requirement is equivalent to the second partial derivative of v with respect to x dot is greater than zero. The parenthesis with a subscription of a star represent this function is evaluated at the function of x star. Let's look at one example. Find the optimum of j that is satisfy the boundary conditions x at 0 is equal to 1 and x at 2 is equal to 5. And since this is a functional in a special form that we mentioned with the integration as a function of that, so we know that everything inside this integration is a function v in this theorem. Let's write it out. In this case, function v is equal to everything that we had in the squared bracket. Necessary condition for an optimum. It should satisfy the Euler equation. And this is the Euler equation. And we need to calculate a partial v, partial x, partial v, partial x dot. Partial v, partial x in this problem is this will take a partial derivative with respect to x. We have a negative 2t. And a partial v, partial x dot, which is a 2 times x dot. Now we submit this 2 to the Euler equation, which will give us negative 2t minus 2x double dot t. And we need to set this to 0. Then we can solve this equation to find a xt. So we can simplify the writing of this equation a little bit. That will give us x double dot t is equal to negative t. And to find x t, we need to do the integration twice. If we do the integration once, and we get x dot t is equal to negative half t squared plus c1. And if we do the integration twice, that will give us x t. That will be equal to 1 over 6 times t cubic plus c1t plus c2. And how do we define this constant c1 and c2? 
those are found from the boundary conditions we were given. Apply the boundary conditions we can have. x0 is equal to c2 because these two terms are 0, it will become c2. And if t is equal to 2, and which will, this will give us negative 8 over 6, which is the same as 4 over 3, plus 2 times c1 plus c2. And this will be equal to 5. And x0, that is equal to 1. So from here, we can find c2 is equal to 1, and c1 is equal to 8 over 3. Then we can study the conclusion. The optimum x star of a function of a t is equal to negative 1 over 6 times t cubic plus 8 over 3 times t plus 1. This is how to find an optimum of a, a functional satisfy a certain boundary conditions.